Hey guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we started this um, secret door bookcase family, and this is one piece of the bookcase. Today we're going to make uh, put two of these together and uh, create that um, uh, overall secret door bookcase family. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a create another generic model. And in this, so in the floor plan, so place a reference line from this point to roughly here. Okay, so now select this, um, select this reference line. So actually, before that, I'm going to use VV and turn on the automatic sketch dimensions. Okay, so select this reference line and click on this and make this temporary uh, dimension permanent. So, which create a dimension to this line and then we're going to create a width parameter. And okay, so now you will see all these um, temporary dimension here. So, we are going to uh, lock so use a l align so click on this reference plane and then tab click on the uh, helm wrong one a l and tab 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 click lock okay once again this one click tab 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 click and the lock so now this end, the, this end point of this reference line is being locked onto these two reference plane, and this is okay as long as we uh, add a angular parameter. So yep, that's that's it. So now we can create a, an angular parameter. I'll call it a an instance and okay. So now we're going to create another reference reference line. So create this time uh, we're going to set work plan and pick this reference line and click on reference line. Start from this point, roughly end to here. Okay. So now we need to add another reference. Uh, sorry, uh, param angular parameter here. So because this angle will always equal to this angle so we can just uh, give give it this parameter and okay so also another one select this uh, reference line yeah. select this reference line and create this uh, dimension and also give it the width parameter so uh, Let's have a look there. Uh, still two temporary dimension here, but before before that, let's have a try. So if I change the angle, so see it's not right. Um, okay, so let's move this back to here. For this end, I'm going to lock it onto this reference plane. Tab, click, and the lock. Okay, so this this way, um, there's only one temporary dimension here. So let's try. Uh, let's try a different angle again. Mm, it's actually okay. Yep, it's okay. Uh, if I change it to zero degree. Uh, looks like no, it's not right. Okay, if I change that back to 45, no, it's all, all wrong. So let's go Control Z, Control Z. Um, what I'm going to do is use dimension DI, trying to pick the end point of this. So tab, tab, and click, and then once again tab, 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 click. So create this. A dimension so be between these uh, two uh, that two end point of these two reference line and this dimension will control so make sure these two end points 
uh, stay at the same location. So now let's try um, 30 degrees, good. Zero degree, good. 90 degree, looks okay. 70, yeah. So now it's working properly. Now we can um, place the casework. So go back to this family. So before 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 I um, load this into the other family. So let's first check this work plan base so we can place it on the reference line. Okay, so load this into here, click place on work plan and pick pick a plan and pick on this reference line. Okay, so and then use use your spacebar to align it to the to the reference line. So now let's let's try the angle. And you will notice that this family is not rotating, uh, it's not aligned to the reference line now. So it, it, the angle keep uh, stay the same. So what we need to do is we go back to this family, uncheck the always vertical. Okay, so and then load it back over right. So once again, let's align this uh, case a bookcase to the reference line. So now, uh, if I change the angle, so it will follow the reference line. Okay. So and this now let's click on this family. Click on this work bookcase and edit type. So here we have this uh, width for this bookcase. So we are going to associate this family to this with the width of the reference line. So if OK and OK. So we'll see this bookcase width will match the reference line uh, length, which is this width, this. OK. So now let's try if we change the width of this, for example, 900 apply. And you will see uh, the book, the bookcase is no longer aligned to this reference line. Um, I think you can probably uh, create some dimension to lock it, but today I'm going to show you a different approach. Okay, so go back to this book case and in the floor plan. So if you click on this center reference plan, so you will see this is a origin defined, origin checked. So what I'm going to do is select this edge reference plan and check this define origin, which means this center reference plan is no longer origin. Okay, so now if I load this back over right, and then if I move this to here, so now I know that this edge, this edge of this bookcase is the origin of the bookcase. So if I change the width of the uh, bookcase, this it will stay here, stay at this corner. Just reduce this, uh, the size. So let's try. If I uh, increase to 1.2 meter, so see, stay there. Now 100. And okay. So now this is the one. And then because when we uh, rotate this, we will need to move this edge to here, right? And if I if so if I I will click the edit type of this if I change the depth of it so make for example make it 300 see it moves moves away from this reference line um, the same let's go back to this bookcase family so currently the center reference plans is the default, the origin so we just need to click on this reference plan check the define origin and load it back all right now just move back to here so now we can just change the so this is width all good and depth depth here so 400 all good okay so now we can select this bookcase cs create similar place on work plan and pick work plan 
pick plan OK, pick this work plan of this reference uh, line, space bar, and place it at this point. So now if I go to 3D view, if I VB, um, hide all the annotation, OK, so we let it have a try, we can have a try now. So for example, angle 0 degree when it's closed, 90 degree when it's opened, and um, and the width 900, 0 degree, 600, change it to 900, 30 degree, and also we have because we have or I haven't um, create all these parameters. We, we just need to so for for example the depths. So I'll create a new parameter depths and height maybe and all these settings. All these settings we can just create a. So we can control everything. Okay, so now this family, I think this family is all good to go. And let's have a last test. So width 1200, yeah, height um, 1800, and depth maybe 300, angle 0. 90, 45. Okay, so and also if you want to, um, we can, we can even create a, so I'll just quickly do it. So create a, a width, a width um, for the opening. So, um, in case you need to create an opening in the wall, because uh, we are not going, it's not a door family, so it's the uh, it w you can place it anywhere, but we can still use a void to cut cut to cut an opening if we need to. So here I'm going to create a I'll call it o opening width, and I know opening width will equal uh, to two times the width. Okay, so opening width equals width times two. Okay, and then I'm, I'll just create a void extrusion and quickly do it roughly uh, like this. Lock and lock. And also uh, we can, we can just, maybe I'll link this to a heart. Okay, so and go to 3D view. Oh, actually, this, this one go to the other. Um, how can I make it go up? I don't know. Maybe we can go to the front view, create a reference plan, DI, and link this to height. And then I can we can select this void, drag it up, and lock onto this reference plan. So we still need to do this one. So cut with void when loaded. So check this one. So you will be able to use this family to cut a hole in your um, wall, for example. Okay, so this is it. Um, Let's try. Let's have a test. So go to uh, let's create a project and load this family into this project and here. So for example, if I have uh, a wall here, go to 3D view. If I have this wall here. If I need to cut opening, so we can use cut wall this. Okay, so and then you can still you can adjust the 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 width of 
and then the opening will change as well okay so that's it um, if you have any question please let me know i'll upload this family so you can have a look uh, i'll see you next time thank you bye